Outer Wilds. Let's jump in. And yeah, I'm using the controller. Wake up. Oh, dude, it's beautiful. Is this the campfire that we just saw on the main menu? I don't think so, right? I can hear... Yeah, I don't think so. No, because there seems to be like a tower here and there's like... Dude, there's so much going on up there. I feel like I can go there. Is this a No Man's Sky situation? I feel like I can go there. Yo, what up? Roast marshmallow? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Content. Holy shit. I can... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta get it in there just right. Okay. Oh shit! That was like a split second too long. Replace. Okay. Eat it. This is gonna be good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually how I feel. Okay, you wanna I'm I'm gonna show you how you really do it. You wanna okay. You wanna you wanna see how you really do it? Let me show you how you really do it. This is how you actually do it. You gotta tease it. Dude, you gotta tease it. You gotta Not too close. But not too far. You gotta you gotta tease it. You gotta be like Ooh. 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 Yeah. And we're good. Schmatzin. Mm. Yeah, he enjoyed that one. One more, one more, one more. For the road, dude. For the road. Ah, shit. Eat quickly. Okay. No, dude. I tossed this one. Tossed this one. Unceremoniously at this guy's feet. Oh no, it disappeared. No, come on. Don't be like that. You pull that outer crust off and you've got the most tender, delicate and delicious little marshmallow inside. Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's mushy. But holy shit, it tastes. Can I shove it in like this? the coal? No. Toss this at that guy. Okay, we're done. We done. Oh my god, it's daytime. Did I spend all night long doing that? <laughs> okay, it was pretty fun. That's engaging. Ga oh, here's the mar- It's a tin of marshmallows. Yo, what up? Can I talk? Slate. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Back from? Is this not the camp out right here? So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Fantastic. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. What? I... Uh, you're sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Horn Fells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here, once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Shit, I love this guy's face. Too many eyes? I was just going to say that's exactly the right amount of eyes. It's basically you got an eye, or at least a set of eyes to look at for every mood. For every type of conversation. Recap? Okay, okay. You know what? I'll give you a play-by-play. -play. I'll actually give you I'll give you a full reenactment of what's happened so far. Here we go. So I fried the perfect marshmallow. It went a little something like this. Whoosh. It's gotta start. It's gotta start. There you go, steaming. It's gotta start steaming. Mm. Ah shit! And then you eat it immediately. No one saw that it was black. It was perfect. It was perfect. You heard the guy schmutzing, you heard him enjoying it thoroughly, and that's it. That's all that happened so far. We looked at the sky, and we saw a whole lot of shit going on up there. It was fantastic. This place looks awesome. Now we're going to leave. 
We're gonna go up here. I'm using the controller, by the way. Jump. So, if it looks like I'm a noob, that's because I'm a noob. But that's fine. I will, by the way, forever be a noob. I'm never gonna actually be proficient at controllering. Give it a few weeks and my daughter will be better than me. What is this place? Yo, I like your hat. Oh my god. Is that a gobby hat? Mika? Hey, it's you! Slate said you'd be blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Okay, I like your shoes. I actually like everything about this guy. Are you... you, you aren't, you, aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? Better not change your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing. Only less likely to start a fire. Oh, sick. Dude, what the hell is this day-night cycle? Oh my god. Literally one conversation and I've passed the whole day by. Okay. How do I do this? <laughs> uh, see you around what if I just leave the thruster here we go I left it let's see if it comes straight back down Ash what up nice to see you oh my god it's going to intercept the planet mm. that planet seems to have a storm on its surface you guys see that I think we lost it. Okay, reset. Oh, this is so easy. How do I stop? Oh shit, not like that. Oh my god, come on. Oh, we fly. <laughs> we fly upside down. Flip it over, flip it up. That didn't sound good. Wait, so this is how it's going to be to fly my ship? This is kind of hard. I won't, I won't lie to you right now, guys. I won't, I won't lie to you right now. I don't like our chances. <laughs> what, if I, what if I go to this guy over here? He's, got, <laughs> he's taking cover. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> okay, I need to get this off the ground. Hold on, hold on. This is important to me. This is important to me. I think it uses momentum, so... Ah, I got it, I got it. Okay, there we go. No shit, stop rolling. God damn it. Ah, shit. Okay, reset, reset, reset. This is easy, dude. This is no problem. Am I supposed to try and land it here? This is, this is easy. That was a fluke. Lucky. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bullseye. Double bullseye. Never ask how deep the hole goes. Oh, shit! There we go! Yo, fantastic! Hey! That's cool! Oh shit, it's gonna hit me. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry, guy! Okay, that was unfortunate. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. That's enough practice. I think I'm good to go. Yo, did you see that? Yeah, I know. I know. Speechless. It was quite magnificent indeed. This game is beautiful, by the way. Look at this. It's like an alien version of the artwork from Firewatch. It's not lollygagging. It's not lollygagging at all. What it is is, it's preparing. Porphy, what's up? That's not your mouth. What, did you just dab your cheek with your soup? Hello? Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you and me and Gosan open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. I want to see an adventure amongst stars, actually. 
Other stars are too far. Oh, amongst uh, one star. Others are too far away. I, I, okay, I don't like the good stuff, guy. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Hothian, my friend. A hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. I like these people. Hothians, huh? I... I could probably wager a guess what their official eSport is. You guys want to hear? They're called Hothians. You guys want to hear? It's Quint, the Witcher card game. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving for the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of the instruments, won't you? Wait, what? Traveler's instruments? Oh, I'm leaving the crater, not for the crater. Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of them their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chirts, drums, Rebecca's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though, Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes, it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, if you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull in. Uh, pull out your signal scope and track them down. Oh! Wait! Oh! Oh my god! Right now? Yo! Right now? Who's this guy? Oh, this is the lumberer. What do you got here? Mall. So it's launch day, huh? Hell's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time we built a new, less flammable one? Yeah. That big tree in the village would be perfect choice. Wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. <laughs> what? No! I just think it's in the way. And someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Ah. You think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when I was a hatchling. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Oh. <laughs> He's looking at the tree. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, shit. The projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Half. Satellite's equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Excuse me. I... There it is. What is that? Oh my god, it's the puzzles. I found the puzzles. There are puzzles on this planet. Oh no. That ain't good. We get in there? I, I think it's just beyond this next rise. It should be... These are tiny little planets. Yo. There it is, there it is. That looks like a spaceship launch in. Did I? I did it. What do I get for that? Read. Pilot seat. Used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar. It's all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless be remembered as a landmark achievement in Hartian history. Oh, this is a space museum. Oh! Yo, fantastic! I dig it. Okay. Cool. So wait, where's this observatory I need to go to? I've spoken with everyone now. At least everyone here. I don't seem to have any actual, actual like, things to do. Like, I don't have tools. Oh, there's more people. Hold on. Yo, Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio? We wanted to play hide-and-seek, but Moraine 
won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use yours? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Lena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use the signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh, we're playing a game. Fantastic. This is a tutorial. That is so nice. I see you. <laughs> I see you. How do I? Okay. I see him. I see him. That is so cool. I love the music. How do I get up there? Oh. That track, I think it's the main theme of the game. Oh, dude, I found this one first. Fair's fair. Ha! Gotcha. You found me. What the hell just happened there? Oh, I can see my body. Nice. Let's get the other one. I saw where he was. Hey, Arbor, what up? Yeah, man. Lost in space. This is fantastic. Coolest space I've ever been in. These people are so nice. You got me, but I'm the last one. I win. I promise you play again when you come back from space. Okay, you got it. That was fun. Oh, here's a fisherman. Please don't let me fish. I don't want to fish. Does he also have all the eyes? Yeah. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, signaling helps me pass the time. You leaving the crater? Guess we'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giants Deep? That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time, half the rest of the village had gone to sleep. And it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabra told me about their first trip to Giants Deep. They landed their ship easy enough in the waves, but they couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was. I guess, too dark. Gabro wants to see what lays beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then... In the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it. A tentacle of a hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabra said, anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories in the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah, the two that were there on our hide-in, so let's go. Zero G Cave Observatory. Oh my god, this is like one big training field. There is so much... To do here. That's the tree. That's the tree the guy wants to chop down. I feel him. I do. But I like the tree more than I don't like the tree, so I'd prefer if he didn't chop it down. Okay, that's the zero G cave. We're obviously gonna go there. What is this note? I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Yo, how much do I know about the game? Zero. Literally nothing. I know there are puzzles. North. Young Bar Crater. I know nothing. I know I'm coming into it completely blind. Northwest. Geyser Mountains. South. Quantum Grove Crater. What is this? Put away. Aim. Oh yeah. I 
I see the smoke. So I don't quite understand what the point is of doing this. Like, I understand, but I don't understand. Anyway, okay, fine. Like, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm taking photos. That's my ship. That's got to be my ship up there. Who's this little guy? Yo, are you throwing rocks? Oh, that doesn't look good. Is there a quantum destability field here? Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eye. Good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Can I? Oh, here we go. Use camera. X. Oh, shit. Okay. I, I like it. I like it. It's really weird, but I like it. I... Dude. A large part of me wants to jump down there just to see what happens. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got zero-g training set up if you want a refresher. Yee. Oh, hey! What up? You're right here. Okay. Gosan. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Yeah, like, you weren't nervous for your first flight. I'm a little nervous, yeah? Are you kidding me? I'm a natural at this. That's so funny. I seem to recall your first time you strapped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. Listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave, in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't. As long as you're confident, you can make sure ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it. Try not to concuss yourself right before your first flight. You're on, buddy. You're on. That's cool. Oh, that's so sick. I mean, I obviously can't see anything, just like you, but, like, that's kind of sick. It's kind of it's cool. Where's the zero-G part of this? Zero-G cave. Oh, suit up. Is this easy enough? Yo, who's this? Tough. Hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. It's a fresh dirt. Not much happening down here. Let me think. Come to think of it. Tektite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's something different. Ah, oh, how about that? Yeah. They won Firewatch with old scout launcher and saw smoke. They went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tech Tide once. Pretty rude. How long they laughed. If you ask me. <laughs> this is easy enough. Okay. I, I... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can do this. I can do this. Yo, slow. 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 Easy does it. We're going down. Oh, my God. Are they serious about this right now? What the hell is this? Are we seeing the inner workings of the planet right now? Oh, oh, this is the Zero-G cave. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is really weird. It's really weird. How do I move around? There we go, I found it, I found it. Like, how do I go down? I figured it out. I, f I unfigured it out.
<laughs> oh no, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Okay, whew. Yo, I did finish Cloud Punk. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. I, I like, I had some time to think about it, and I thought that, like, uh, you know, okay, I, I played through it pretty quick, so I did three streams, and it was done. Uh, I did a night stream, a morning stream, and then another night stream. And to be honest, like, uh, uh, while I was playing it, I was thinking to myself, okay, you know, the pacing's a little off. I was thinking to myself, mm, you know, uh, this is fun, but they should really have me do more and they should have more action and stuff. But like, now that I've had some time to think about it, I really didn't spend that many hours playing it. I think I've just become a little impatient in my old age. And, <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I sort of, I was wrongfully maybe a little harsh on it. Uh, but like overall, I think it was a really fun experience. And uh, if I'm being honest with you, uh, I, yeah, I, I, would, I would probably play something like that again. Yeah. How do I go back up? There we go. I enjoyed it. Is is what I, actually what I'm saying. I liked it. Cool storytelling style. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of downtime and a lot of. Uh, I want to say not so much um, filler content, but like uh, slightly less interesting content, maybe. Read UI in this game. Biggest tip. You mean like this little uh, gravity, uh, that thing there? I don't know what you even call that. That little 3D measurement thing. That that seems very important. It's showing me like which way I'm busy boosting, and it's 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 important. I can tell. I can tell. And you can like clearly figure out which way you need to go with it and how you need to boost to do it and stuff. I get it. I'm I'm sort of I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of this. Hold A. <gasps> but there's no UI saying that. Okay. Ow. Okay, there's that concussion. That doesn't say it in the UI. There is when you lock on. Hold A to match velocity. Ah, there it is. You're right. Okay, we've seen that eventually. <laughs> I think I would. I think I would have seen that eventually. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay, let's speed race out of here. Cool. That was fun. I dig it. I really do. It's got nice controls. It's a little weird. And like the curvature of the planet. Do I need to speak to him after I've done it? No, 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 wait. I, I think I have to go back up the elevator. The curvature of the planet is like, it's, it's something you've got to take into account, apparently. You watch four different people play this, and reading the UI is savage difficulty, apparently. Yeah. Hey, Silver. Your new YouTube chef guy. So many easy ideas. You love it. Uh, we, we started making some food from a new book that my mom bought for my sister, actually. Uh, we just took a bunch of photos of the stuff in there. Hey, this guy's missing an eye. Hey, nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But remember, you're training, and try not to hit anything big. Okay. I can see you itching to be off this rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get off here already. Best of luck. Try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now that I've put so much time into training you, got it? So yeah, my sister got a book, and it's still here at our house, and we've been looking at it. Uh, it's called... something about superhero kids. I think it's from Tim Noakes. I think. I'm not sure. Now, I want to just preface this by saying I'm not a big Tim Noakes fan in any way, shape, or form. I respect the fact that he's got his own ideas. <clears throat> Whatever. You know, he does his whole carb-free thing, and it's cool. It's cool. Uh, but 
this book specifically, unlike his earlier stuff, it's not so controversial. Uh, the, the recipes are just good. Like, really nice, easy to make recipes. Frames drop in? It shouldn't be a lot. I just saw a couple drop now. Hopefully, there won't be any more. Uh, with load shedding the way it is right now, uh, it's hard for me to know, you know, whether it's going to be stable. It should be fine. I, I, I see it just dropped a few. We should be okay. Moraine, what's up? Oh, uh, hello, astronaut. Yeah, it's 238 to be exact. This is good weather for launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my single scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night, I heard Rubik's Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Oh! Oh, man! That's a... That's a... That's a sound. It's a little primal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I could, I, could, I, could, I could dig that. Put the scope away. Let's get out of here. Silver thinks we lollygagging. Let's show him. Let's show him what real lollygagging looks like. I'm joking. Let's go. I've actually seen everything there is to see, except that place. Ho, 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 ho. Dude, I'm almost certain that this stuff is really important, and that's actually why I'm looking at it. Almost certain. This must be my house. I'm trying to see through the wall. I'm sorry, I know the game's janky, so I thought I could maybe manipulate it. Make it do my bidding. Who's this? Is that a dinosaur head? Yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hornfells, Gorsan, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. That's five names. Four people. <clears throat> Outwilds Ventures, founding members, clockwise from left, right, Hornfells, Gorsan, and Slate. Oh. What's, oh, the Esker's the ship, or what? Or what? I don't know what that shit is. Big thanks to these additional founding members, the Outwilds Ventures. Without them, we wouldn't have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Arrington, Quirtyup the Pie, Jordan Frith, Tom Cummings. Okay, you know what? Did I just lock myself in here? Okay, Shark Templar. Oh, oh my god, I just went back in. Steven Ursel, Ryan Omrecker. I know that guy. Isn't he a big deal? Otherwise, Ventures, Timberheart's first and only space program, founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Valspar is the first Hearthian to be internationally launched into space. Intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first venture uh, of what would be many landings to our moon. The Atle Rock. Okay. Dave? Ennis, what's up? Hello? Hello? What? You're from your new house? Right now, you're on the internet in your new house. Jesus, people move fast in your country. How did you get everything set up so quickly? Congratulations, man. That's insane. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Namai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. It provides us the most detailed look at the Namai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we have still no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Yo, hell, what's up? Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh? It's the Translator Tools Inaugural Fright 2. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think of it. You'll be able to translate any of my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool. So don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Ah, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So, what's the dirt? You see the new Numai statue? Of course. Just here for the launch codes. Yeah, yeah. I get that you're dying to head on to space, but seriously. you got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish I could see what real live Numai looked like. But I guess... This is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. 
Looks like they had fur. Fur's weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? How old is it? It's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Okay, Halford. You called the company and they said, and you said you needed new internet. They were like, yeah, sure. And then it was done. Wow. Hey, am I new to this game? Pick, pick, carrot. What up, man? Brand new. I'm actually playing this for the first time right now. What is going on here? Oh, this is showing the orbit of the planet. I see. Watch closely. The balls move on their own. Ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling you right now. Yeah, but I'm staying still. I'm powerful. You also got a new coffee machine. Hey, is it a good coffee machine? Is it nice? How do I bop this? Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. That's dangerous sounding. What is this? Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Hi. Level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening on both sides of this debate agree it's extremely creepy. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. It's a Ferrari of coffee machines. It grinds the beans and everything. Oh shit. Yeah, we've got one of those here. I wouldn't call it a Ferrari. It's more like a... You know, ours, I'd say it's more like a Bentley or something. <laughs> but hey, if you got the red one, that's fantastic. Ah, the star's core contractions get... As the, as the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. Where the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Oh my god. Oh, it's a proper lesson. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity, then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, only uh, this will one day be the fate of our sun. Yeah, one day, millions and billions of years from now. More like a Fiat Punto? No, no, no. Why would you use an espresso machine if you have one that grinds be It was in. It was in. For, for uh, maintenance. Not repairs, it was fine. It's just they want you to, every year or something, they want you to send it in so they can f fix things and check things and polish it and whatever. Yo, do I want recommendations on where to go? Oh, to point me in the right direction for the mystery? I've not even seen the ship yet, so let me get to the ship, and if I have no idea what's going on, we'll go. They have a, it's a Jura machine. I think that's the name, Jura. J-U-R-A? It might be two U's. J-U-U-R-A? No, I don't know. It might just be one U. I don't know, dude. It was expensive. When they bought it back then, it was ex my parents. <clears throat> just one A, eh? Jura. There you go. Thank you. I look at it every day and I don't even know the name. Crystal was taken from the Namai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion, most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, jeez. That's messing with me, dude. I'm on the wall. Get me off here. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm off. There we go. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm not going to try that one out again. Now, my technology brought back from space by astronauts has been a great boon to the Outer Wilds' ventures. Allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capacity capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. That's cool. Have I been to the Zero G cave? Yeah, it was fun. What you see here are parts of an Amai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Now my body was unlikely, uh, likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Namai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that the Hothians couldn't have descended from Nomanian Nomai, ancestors. Sorry, I'm bad at reading. It's not clear whether the Namai originated from or why they disappeared. 
We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. I, I feel like they're already telling me right now what we're going to be looking for and looking at. This looks like a cradle. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Namaya also made art. This is decorated pottery and was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Namai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Namai originated elsewhere in the universe and simply had vibrant imaginations. Uh, or simply, uh, were the Namai born in our solar system, or were they born amongst other stars and other planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are some of the questions we hope to answer further. Uh, Xenio... Archaeological like to critical expedition. Okay, Xeno archaeological expeditions. Wow, wow. Oh, you got a Delongi. I'm not even gonna open the link. Yo, I'm not gonna open the link, but I know that name. You did get a Ferrari, didn't you, <laughs> Dave? That's fantastic. I will open the link though. In just a let me. Oh God, can I open it? I I don't know, dude. It's a coffee machine. I really want to know what it looks like. So. I, I'm I'm quite passionate about my coffee. I'm looking quickly. One sec. That website's not loading for me. Is it a poggy machine? Hey, mate. What up, man? Nice to see you. Oh, but the summer game fest is starting, you say? I don't even know what that is, man. The website is very slow. Holy shit, that looks nice. It's tiny compared to ours, but it looks really nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, fantastic. Jesus. It costs about the same as my parents paid for theirs. Whoa. <laughs> god. I mean, I know, I know, because my parents could have basically bought a car for the amount that they paid for their coffee machine. Anyway, what is this? Let's check this out. Yo, too close. Translate. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Filex and I have finished construction. She says calibrating the device won't take long. Is that more? This is sick, dude. I love it. Piece of my writing was essentially essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, my text often branches off. From a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh, after all this time. Okay. How do I oh, how do I find the other one then? Oh, oh, this is one, and that's another one. I got it. I got it. So that's two. Sorry, I'm very bad at controlling the controller. Uh, but I get it. This is one, and there's the other one. That's fantastic. I see you use time stop while reading. Do I? Don't know. Don't know. Sure, maybe. I didn't say anything. Okay, we're done here. Oh no, there's more. Whoa. Whoa! I'm not ready for this. Oh God. Oh my God. That's Brittle Hollow. That's Hollow's Lantern. What a cool name. These guys are together. Oh my God. The Dark Bramble. Ooh. I think we're going to stay away from that one for now. Giant's Deep also seems a little... Uh, don't, what is that shadowy place over there? <laughs> There's something over here. I saw that immediately. You can't hide from me. That's the, that's the big chief. I could spot a big chief anywhere. Read. Hornfield's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. Yeah, it looks like it. And this image is, just covers one tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I, I think I need to sit down. Dude, come on. It is basically endless. 
There's no end. Is this him? Does he look different? There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool, I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. The lighting in here is very nice, especially on him. Yo, this is a lot of options. What am I supposed to say here? I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> oh god, I'm doing it. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Oh my god, that's their tradition? Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's off is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are very safe. Uh, oh, they're every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I got the launch codes. It looks like a bunch of chicken scratches. Fantastic. I do not look at it. Uh, the map is not necessary. No, no, no. That, that's, that's daunting, dude. That's daunting. The jump in this game kind of sucks. The hell? Oh! God! What was that? Oh, that's everything I just did? Why do they lock on to that one thing there? Is that the mistake I made? Is there regret? Hello? Hey? Is there regret? Do I need to go back and fix that pipe? Speak to me! This goat. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> Flashes my light in front of my eyes. Tells me I forgot to fix- Hey! Hey, so did you get a look at that in my statue? I did. It just looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So, its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're ready to launch, like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, the statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Ornfels tried everything to get the statue to open its eyes and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get answers from the museum statue, but... Gavro said they were trying to go to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. What? Okay, so they mean mentioned in Giant's Deep. Maybe I need to go there first. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gavro's, you know, Gavro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more information on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous that you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Okay, can I go down here? Sedana, what up? Good evening. Can I sprint? This is sprinting. I know, I'm just impatient. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Oh my god, there are more people. Dude, it's endless. Oh, this is Tefra? I think we've spoken. Hello, astronaut. You're going to space today? You going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? That's pretty disturbing. But Hornfels says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfels says that they got lost in space. Even though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar. You should really be careful not to get lost. Whoa! Jesus, you little shit! Wow! Do I want a tip or... No, no, no. Let's see. My, my, my sort of thinking right now is going straight to... Deep, deep helm. Helm's, helm's deep. I'm going straight to helm's deep. That's it. That's it. Sedana, that's quite an interesting story. Long-faced man is looking at Lala Fel Lumen, and then looking really hard at Lala Fel Lumen. Then Lumen turns around and spots Long-faced man, and then Long-faced man's like, "Not like this." Ugh! It's a good story. Thank you. I just told everyone who's not looking at chat the story, so. 
And you know, when you squish that one emote up like that, it's sort of like DiCaprio dog eyes. Okay. Slate, what's up? I got the codes. Let's dance. Look like we're ready for takeoff. The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, uh sorry. Do I just go? Oh, shit, here we are. Hmm. I guess we're going to Helm's Deep. I know it's not called Helm's Deep. I'm sorry. I don't remember the name. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Did the kids build this ship? Dude. Holy shit. Listen, I... Am I gonna have to say it? They made it out of wood. I... I... Mm, okay. That's fine. Yo. Oh. One only Hothian village, as well as main source of explosions on this planet. The my statue of the observatory opened his eyes, looked at me, I saw a strange glowing light. And my own memories before my eyes. Hell says the statue has never opened his eyes before. Cave at the very center of Timber Hearth, used by the Outwilds Ventures to train new astronauts. Successfully repaired the satellite for Gosan. Okay. It's just like. Find in rumor mode. Oh my god, that's kind of cool. I got rumors. It's like a quest log. Fantastic. What? What do you mean? Don't you know wood is space material? Yeah, wood, leather, string, duct tape, shit. I got, <laughs> I got curtains! Oh, that is so cool. What the hell? I love it. Do I suit up before I go? Maybe not, maybe not. Let's do this. Did I not read the you unbuckle? Stop. I can't tell if that's sarcastic or if that's legit. <clears throat> Map mode. Bump. Rumor mode. Bump. Zoom view. Unzoom view. No, no, that was actually for real. You were actually for real clapping at me. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, that's the suit. Let's get in here and let's buckle up. I can't believe we're actually gonna take- Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no, like, weird transition or something? Are they not gonna take me to the flight map or something? What's going on here? I can't possibly just go. Oh shit, I'm just gonna go. Lift off? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no, I'm flying. I wanna go to the burning crater. Hold on, hold on. It's right here. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Stop. That is such a useful key. <gasps> Shit. Yikes. Yikes. Woof. Yikes. Is there a place to land here? Oh my god. Set it down nice and easy. Oh. Perfect. This better be a hardy ship, because I think I'm going to be bashing it around a bunch. <laughs> I don't need the suit, do I? Oh shit! This is disgusting. Yo, tech tight, what's going on here? Hey yo, hatching. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures of my little scout. So I thought I'd come over and see for myself. So what crashed? Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? There's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll send Maul and Hell loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and 
No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than the tree keepers can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up something potentially dangerous without a better idea of what's lurking inside. Tough can have a <coughs> wait, can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into something that looks as unpleasant as the seed does. That's the good way to lose an arm or two. Can I do it? Ah, shit. It bit me. Okay. Oh, that was 2,000 meters away. 2,000. Okay, let's go. That's so cool. Yo, how does this compare to the space game? Oh, the game about Ramiel? No, it's different. It's very different. But you'll quickly learn that landing doesn't matter much. Really? Okay, good. So I can just land by, by sort of crash landing. Buckle up, dude. Okay, let's go. I guess we're going into space. I'm just going to leave this stupid little planet behind. See you around, planet. You stupid and little. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be mean, planet. Match the velo- Whoa. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Am I moving? Am I moving? There, that's it. I think that's it. Giant's deep, dude. There it is. <laughs> that's 22 kilometers away. Oh my god. We are actually playing in like a space miniature. Oh shit. Oh shit! I was falling all that time. We're playing in a space miniature. Okay, so exit ship to repair landing gear damaged. In space? Engage autopilot. What is autopilot doing? Okay, are we fine? I was in the ship's gravitation, the planet's gravitational field, I think. So it pulled me down. I just want to make sure I don't crash again. Where is it? I don't seem to be moving. Where's Timber Hearth? Oh my god, these controls are really weird. I, I'm going to get used to it. I promise I will. I've actually, I've just lost the planet that we came from. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Oh, 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 that's why it, 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 it's, it's orbiting the star and what happened was it's orbiting the star and, and, and it's, there it comes. Is that it coming there? Yeah, it might be coming around again. Oh shit. Oh no. It's going to strike me right from the heavens, dude. I just want to find Helm's Deep again. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Match velocity. Then I need to get out and repair. Okay. I need, to get I need to get repairing. Can I die in this game? We're about to find out. Oh, shit! God damn, dude. That was close. Nice first spacewalk. <laughs> Just stop. Ship, no. Okay, here we go, here we go. Where's the landing gear? I don't, I don't see anything. Phys oh, here, here. There's some like shit on this one. Was 
Was that it? Oh, okay. Easy enough. Huh. Dude, space is scary. I've been reading a sci-fi book with scary space in it as well, so this is doubly scary for me. Okay. Here we go. Man, I'm excited. This actually just, like, really opened up. Okay, where's Giant's Deep? There, there, there. Fantastic, let's go. Oh, there's something orbiting it. Hold on. What is that? But as I was saying, this really feels like we're in like a miniature. You know? <laughs> you know? That, I know it sounds strange, but it's like we're in a, a, a kid's attic where he's got a little miniature uh, solar system set up. And we're alive, you know? We're in there, but we're alive. Let's go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. How is this going to work? Are we going to no man's sky our way right onto the planet? Onto like the surface of the planet? I got to slow down now. Yeah, what's the space station? There, 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 there. This one. I want to go there. It's coming around again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Shit! Oh god! What's going on? No! Oh. <laughs> Stop! We're okay. We're okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. What the hell is going on here? Oh god, this thing's been overtaken by the uh, brambles as well. Dude, no! Yeah, this is not the kind of sploosh I wanted, man. I need to lock on to Helm's Deep. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. This is not right, dude. Okay. Okay, here's something. Is that someone's ship? <laughs> Looks like pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> so it does. So it does. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. It's staying where I left it. Fantastic technology. No, it's boarded shut, dude. Oh. Okay. I mean, I tried. This is gonna take a while, dude. This is gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this. No jokes. I'm in. Oh my god. It is terrifying, dude. Yeah. What is that? What is that? I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Oh shit. No. No. Stop. Match velocity. Go up. And land. I think that's a tornado. It's making my game lag like crazy. But only when I'm in the ship, which is kind of weird. Oh no, it's making my game lag. Just like in general. It's raining here. I'm not sure I should be using my signal scope. Yeah, what? Where's that going? Where's that going? Oh, 
Danger. Ghost matter detected nearby. down there oh my god oh my god no my ship what just happened oh no we're in space <gasps> that's terrifying dude ah what happened flashlight flash uh, flashlight it's terrifying! Oh! We're underwater again. Oh! Oh! <gasps> what happened? What is this? Jesus, I knocked my head so hard there. I think I cracked my skull. Oh, it's reversing me. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to that guy for an obscenely long time. Indeed. I fried the marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, there's the eyes. Ah! Oh, Jesus, I gotta do it all again. Nice. Nice. What? Oh, no, I got the launch codes. Yo, what up? Hello? Slate? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Did... What? Did I just die? Wow, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep. But that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, hold up. You want to get the launch cards from the observatory first. I already got them from the observatory, remember? How did I get back here? Didn't I already lift off? Wait. Wait, did I just die or... I got them. Huh? Must be inhaling fumes. Uh, more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck. Take care of the ship. What? Oh my god, please don't tell me I got a finite number of lives. Because I can sense a lot of deaths in my future. I was onto something there. And I think I need to be more pacey. I just got to go. With all haste, I got to go. So I'm going to put my suit on already. And I'm going to just deck this shit, dude. Watch me, watch me. No, you know what? I'm going to this one first. This one looks tame. This one looks like mega tame, dude. It's Oh yeah, it's the moon. It's the moon. It's the moon. The moon's tame, dude. Jesus. Approaching a little quickly there. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Dude, dude, the air flying in space is hard. This is hard as nails. <laughs> yes, it'll buff out. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a little crack. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, turn the lights on. I got the lights on. Why is it all still dark? Landing gear damaged. You gotta be shitting me. It doesn't matter, I'll land without the gear, dude. That's where I wanna be. Nice and easy, like. What did I break? This game seems like it probably captures the terror of space in the way Ramiel game never does. Yeah. Jesus, it's so easy to get 
sucked back into the ship. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Can you please stop doing that? I need to ref I need to repair the window. I, <laughs> I, there was a bit of a bonk in that happened. Where is the window? I just went all the way around the ship and I don't see the window. Oh, this is it right here. Is anything else broken? What about the forward thrusters? What about the rear thrusters? What about the aft thr the aft thrusters? What about the stern thrusters? What about the bow thrusters? I'm sorry, I don't know any space terminology. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I should never write a book about space. It would suck. Just saying. I need to equip my my things. Play recording. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. There's an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit that Adelrock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Oh. Follow up on maybe there are more fragments of the old planet. Dark Bramble destroyed on the other astral bodies in the solar system. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Refuel jetpack. Sure. Jetpack fueled full. Should I should I be doing scan in here? No one's on the moon, as far as I can tell. Oh, there is someone on the moon. That's the harmonica. I I know me a harmonica when I hear one. Uh, what is the thing that scans the texts? It doesn't seem like there are texts here. So, I'm going to try and get to... It's only 80 meters away. I'm going to try and get to the... Uh, the singing. Oh my god, the way the controller rumbles is very satisfying. I think I know what I'm doing. There, there, there. So spin. Let's line this baby up. Like this. Set it down nice and easy. LB plus left stick. I don't know what that means. Oh, there we go. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm. I like it's too many. It's too many, dude. <laughs> I I hate to say it, but it's too many. Yo, I'm coming in for a landing. Clear the landing bay. Clear the clear the. I'm stuck in the trees. This will do. This will do. This is not how landing works. Tell that to my ship. It seems quite happy to be here. What? What is with this tree? Oh, excellent. Just, just get out. We, we landed. We landed. We landed. back inside a gentle nudge excellent yo buddy did you see that expert piloting why don't you have an instrument 
What up? Hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't other travelers come by? What's with the whistling? Probably or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole's marked red on your mini-map. But the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't really miss it. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with the ground control. Hornfells and Gossan, mostly. They radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication. That <laughs> None of the villagers know about it because I never told them. Don't go. I mean, uh, anything else you wanted to ask? <clears throat> do other travelers come by? Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. And you know how Rebek feels about unnecessary space flight. What is this place? Ha ha, very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Sigh. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started the Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space frame technology has improved loads since then, but older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village. Also, the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here. Raising saplings from timber, hearth, and keeping an eye on things. Unidentified signal nearby. What does unidentified signal nearby mean? Oh. Can I like save this frequency or something? I don't know. There's where I need to go. Next. Okay. I mean, okay, 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 okay. I hate to ask, but is there actually anything I do? It seems very open-ended, the way I need to control and handle things. Huh. Okay, scout launcher. Okay. I'm gonna go to that planet over there, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm gonna go look. <clears throat> I, I wanna I wanna look. But I actually think I should look around the planet first. So around this moon first. So if I go up here. Oh god, these trees. We don't get along, me and these trees. Oh shit, here's something. What's that? Stop, stop, stop. What the hell's with the gravity here? I'm just trying to... Are we not in space? Not really, apparently. Oh shit. Okay, what is this? Esco signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rebecca's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once we can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirt play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell. Porphy and Gossan, their flirting is not suitable for an aerial, from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming loud and clear. Sounds like Rebex is doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I know it's probably nothing. 17 notes back again. 
today too. Something strange coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar's harmonica, but Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. That can't be them. It's still there. This is creepy. Maybe my signal's both broken. Better talk to Gnice. That's a banjo. Isn't that a harmonica? That's the harmonica. Why are they both coming from the same planet? Weird. Oh, I like the banjo, dude. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Is that giant steep? No, what is that? Okay, let's get back inside. This was a beautiful parking job. I don't know what that shit is under there. <clears throat> Signals coming from inside the planet? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, here we go. I want to see what else is on the moon. So we know the trees... Oh, that's the first moon landing right there. I gotta slow down. Here's something. What is this? No, that's like a weird something or other. Okay. Doesn't look important. There. That's the one. We gotta go there. Easy does it, dude. Oh, smooth. Okay. <laughs> okay, it might have been a smooth landing, but I don't think it's quite respectful enough. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Velocity matched? You gotta be shitting me. What are you doing? Okay, stop right there. That's fine. What is this? Whoa! Okay! Yeah, I mean, I definitely did something. Holy crap. Do I gotta stop it? That seems important somehow. <clears throat> what do these other ones do? Oh yeah. Has the star changed? The star? No, it looks the same. It's just closer. Emrick, what up? Yo, nice to watch someone play this. Can't wait to see how I feel about it. 
I feel confused right now, but I'm enjoying myself, so I also feel satisfaction. Those are my feelings. Oh, there's some text over there. I'm going to read that. That's probably going to tell me what to do. Whoa. Okay. Oh, trees detected oxygen refilled. That's cool. Play the recording. Okay. Wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seen it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I, I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Okay, so south, south hollow. Pick up scroll. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Translation. Bomb. Fetch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than the eye signal locator is. This is Collius. Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier of Riddle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Okay, so they really are pushing me uh, towards the uh, southern glacier of Brittle Hollow. Okay. Yes, let's build there. I imagine if our young friend, Konoy, would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction of Brittle Hollow, South Pole immediately. Okay, that's a cool conversation. Nice to be part of it. Another one. Collier, so I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant deep in Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening. When I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal, the device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see. It's most likely collaborated the locator incorrectly. Pivot, my apprentice, and I will make the adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Whoa. When then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Kasava, our search for the eye, is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Okay. They keep refilling my oxygen. That's, that's sick. Okay, so we're done here. Now we know we, we, have a, we have a clue. I feel like I need to follow the clue. That's it. Was the star red before? Yes. Yes, that that it was. That it was. So I, I get the feeling I'm not supposed to know what to do here yet. Which is fine. It's fine. That's how we're all supposed to feel. Uh, you guys said it. I said it. It has been said. Line that baby up. It lines up with giants deep. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so, Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow. I'm trying to decide if I've seen everything on this moon. I'll take one quick fly over it and, and find out, but... Yeah, we've been there.
The other species have agricultural product names. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you said that, didn't you? Wait, did you? No, you said mineral. Cassava. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's not a mineral. That's, uh, that's food. Shit, that sounds... I think I'm about to die. I think I'm... <laughs> oh no. Get away. Done up. Let's check it out immediately. I see now. We're in a death loop. Not the game from Arcane. No, a different one. Mm. Oh my god. Wait, so it wasn't red then? Let's just let's just check. Yo, I died again. Doze off. No, I don't want to do Why is that an option? Am I holding my breath? What is the point of that? Is our pilot ready to get this beauty off the ground? Hey, what can I do for you? You know the ship's a death trap, right? You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm out of here, dude. What happened? I died! I died! And now I'm back on the planet again, now I have to take off again, let's find that big star. Sedana, let's find it. Oh shit, you absolutely correct, Sedana. Jesus, God, you're so observant. But it's already getting more orange. That's angry, dude. That's angry looking. Okay, we've got some serious velocity here. Brittle hollow. The plan is as follows. Lift off this planet. Lift off this planet. The plan is as follows. Get out of the get out of the gravitational pull. Get out. Okay, we're in space. Line it up. Check the map. There. I don't know if that's brittle hollow to be perfectly honest with you. It's the moon. I can check the map. I will. I'm just scared of dying. There you go. Okay. We're on our way. That one's brittle hollow. I'm approaching a little quick. Engage reverse thrusters. There's the there's the one. There's the one. Stop. I'm actually at the right place right now. Check ship log when I land. We'll do, we'll do. Always check ship log, I think. This doesn't seem safe. Jesus! What a fantastic landing! Holy shit! Who is this pilot? Who is this pilot? It ain't me. That's for sheezy. Return suit. Sure thing, buddy. I want to read the ship log. <clears throat> Dark bramble seed. Esker's camp. Lunar lockout. Oh boy. I'm just looking at what Nero's doing. Southern observatory. Do I need to read these rumors? Hal says Gabriel went back giant deep to learn more about the Nomai statue. Am I decided to build a larger, more sophisticated I located in Brittle Hall South Pole. That's where I am right now. Let's continue. Let's follow this lead. I'm investigating. 
I'm an investigative astronaut. It's a new profession I've just invented. Me and me alone. I'm it. Yeah, it's a little cold sound in here. There's a lot of text. Mine got... Oh, yo, this is a big one. What the hell? Is someone down there? I don't know what Majora's Mask situation is. No, I know nothing about Majora's Mask. I'm sorry. I skipped Zelda. It's not part of my timeline. You know? Oh my god! That's exactly what I wanted to do. Just more. This is where the song is coming from. Signal identified. Tower shard. It sings to me. Okay. Thatch. Plume. Felix. I've determined this atypical shard of rock. Is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only object we've discovered displaying the quantum behavior is wandering is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions the strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Prittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the Wandering Moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. I didn't break my legs. That's decent, decent, decent. Alright. Do we get to go in here, or what now? Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Oh, thank you. I didn't actually even know the entrance was here. That's fantastic. Give me some trees so I can refill my canisters. This is terrifying. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Oh my god, this is a game within a game situation right here. Did we just find Blackreach? <laughs> oh yeah, I think we did. Okay, okay, okay. They keep wanting me to launch the scout through here. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Did it just get stuck somewhere? Ah, I'm done. Okay. It's not working. What is this? This is insane. What about my ship? Oh no. Okay, here's something. What is that? 
Oh no. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to ascend these stairs, obtain... Okay, it's the same as before. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> I could have just walked across there. <laughs> oh no, 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 wait, it's not gonna work, right? Yeah, I thought so, I thought so. Okay. I can't make this jump because it cancels every time I uh, try to go. So, this is not happening. I'm gonna have to shoot this, this meloscope in there. Honestly, not sure what I'm looking at here. I, w I want to say, I don't know what the point of taking these photos is. I, I know that probably sounds like, you know, blasphemy to you guys who have played this game, but I just don't see the point. The Crossroads, East 190. Oh, no. Oh no. I can't go back because the, the, the beam is going this way. That's fine. Jeez. It's just tossing me around. <gasps> yes! Banjo! Three minutes of oxygen remaining. We're fine. Hope you don't mind, big guy. Let's re back. Yo! Ah, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess this means I've been here a while. Uh, um, this is the Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. So what are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. The alien race lived in the solar system long before our species ever existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal and it was dumb luck. I landed somewhere with my little scout and it says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. Hmm. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. Oh, is that how... Okay. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Hehe. <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? Actually, never mind. Okay, if you find something cool about the Nomai, though, I'd love to hear it. Uh, if, if you don't mind, I mean. Where should I explore here? Oh wow! Where where shouldn't you explore here? Um, uh, not the not the black hole. Actually, that's very no, which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff's all below the crust, including the hanging city. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also the big dome on the south pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. 
But if you like the rest of the Nehemiah structures here, that's probably the path. <coughs> There's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nehemiah, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. Why did the, the sun blow up? Is it on a timer? I think it's on a timer. I think it's probably a half an hour if I had to guess. Right? What's a mic check? Why are you doing a mic check? I should be doing mic checks. Don't say stuff like that. Now you're going to have me worried. Am I not mic checking? My mic's checking just fine. It checks like it's working. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all Timber Hearth has right now. Hey, the banjo riff's quite catchy and simple to learn. You learned it on guitar. Doesn't just sound... What? But it... Doesn't just sound perfectly right on it. Oh, yeah, you need to... Dude, banjos are very, very unique in how they sound. I want to get Lillian a, a ukulele. It's not like a banjo, but it's, it's sort of its, its own thing as well. Uh, Brittle Hollow is rich with Namai history. That's why I'm here. The planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have questions about Brittle Hollow, Namai, I'm your Hearthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, so, I mean, so maybe I can help? Okay, see you later, man. You didn't really help me all that much. The hanging city, you say, huh? Surface integrity, 2%. <laughs> oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I like it. I mean, being real with you, I could probably play that if I knew what to play. I don't know what to play, so being real with you, I probably couldn't play that. Oh my god! He wasn't joking, there's a black hole down there. What the hell? What? So... How now, brown cow? Where the hell's my ship going? They kind of want me to jump out here. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh shit, you're right, the ship is gone! <laughs> 21 kilometers away! Oh no! Oh no! She round ship! I never liked you anyway, you were a bucket of shit wood! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Ugh. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on, and not how it'll eventually... How I'll have to get back up that path, but wow, this place sure is something. Look at the hanging city. It's north of here, and east is gravity cannon. Definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip from the surface. As soon as I... Stop dry heaving. I'm gonna head farther down so I can refill my tank. Wow, that was really informative. Thanks, man. Like, holy shit. I'm trying to... How do I get this stupid... Get the... Thank you. Put it away. I want, what is this? Okay, let's look at the picture. <clears throat> Hanging city. Tower. Uh, something. So, I don't know what this shit is, dude. Holy crap. Uh, oh my god. Yo, what is this? Gravity cannon. East. Oh, this is like a proper crossroads. I see now. Mmm. 
I see. The Hanging City, north. Is that north? Do I have a compass? I'm not sure I have one. It does look like a map, yeah. Accordion, you, you are. Like, it does, but like, I mean... <sighs> no, no, it's not. No, no. I'm sorry, I got nothing. Oh no. Oh no. How do we get across there? How do we, like, oh no. I see it, but I know I probably can't. Could I, I don't know how well my, my, like. Oh, I can fly. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's try it. My O2 is not looking great, but like, come on, who cares? Ah! <laughs> oh shit! What happened? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello? Stabilize. Where am I? What is this? I think I'm somewhere. I just can't tell where. This is dark. I've been here. I... I haven't been here. Have I been here? Yo, let's land. Where are we? Can I check my map? I'm damaged a little bit. Yo, I'm damaged a little bit. I think I've been here. Can we stop? Can we can we stop? This looks like the moon. Can we stop? Dude, I'm not doing okay. Stop, 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 stop. Lock onto this one. Whatever this is. Dude, oh my god, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Oh 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 I'll lose my shit, don't worry. Don't worry, I've got this. I got this. <gasps> oh. oh oh I'm in this little bit that I saw from the place you know from the outside if you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage no I've read that already what's that say this one here the trees are moving the trees in this grove wander about freely oh no stop 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 the entire plant, roots, and all. This is not normal. Even for this alien planet. Never see them move. Is that possible? She never sees them move. If anyone else witnesses the disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are <coughs> aberrant or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read the notes. Alarmingly... It isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses the color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, the rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Also, could it be what's causing the other nearby objects to move about? Was that sign not on the planet before? It was on the moon before. That That's looking mighty red. This is the moon. It's like a doppelganger of the moon. They made a copy of it and they flung it off into the far reaches. That's what's happening here, dude. I think we're about to die. Let's go in supernova. Maybe I'm far enough out that it doesn't matter. Where is it? 
That's cool. Yo, that's... That's pretty cool. That's... That's pretty cool. Here it comes! Oh my god, the controller. Fantastic. What a beautiful way to go. Don't show me the repeat of that, dude. That wasn't worth watching again. I'm gonna have to check my rumor mill to see if anything's turned a little bit or whatever. Okay. Yo. Bam bam bam. Pa 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 Ba -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. I didn't even talk to him this time. I'm that jaded. No. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 I. I confess. I didn't expect it to end this way. Ow. <laughs> this is gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, let's watch that one. <laughs> I don't think anyone saw it. Yo. There's our pilot ready to go. Sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh, yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfell's domain. Me? I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Shit, yes, dude. I could do with some marshmallows. I haven't had marshmallows <clears throat> probably in five years. Probably in five. I haven't had marshmallows in a long time, man. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe two, three, two, two, three. Final offer, three years. Let's get out of here. Okay, uh, I'm going to look at my rumor. Mill. Quantum shard. Quantum signal. Quantum signal. Quantum signal. Tower of quantum knowledge. Rebex camp. Hang in city. Oh no. Rebex says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Oh, no. There's more to explore here. <clears throat> the dark bramble seed. Look out. Oh, this pretty much, it sums it all up for you. Like, it tells you if there's more to explore. It tells you if there isn't more to explore. Uh, okay, I'm going to Giant's Deep. I'm going to Giant's Deep this time. I I'm mixing it up. I don't care. I want to go back to Giant's Deep because last time I went there, let me just say, it didn't go well. This time, I was going to go well. That giant's deep. That's the Atel Rock. Yo, deep. There it is. You can lock on the map screen. Oh yeah, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, I'm beginning more and more to understand the, the displays. You finished the game, found out there's a map screen afterwards. Holy shit, nice. 
That must have been hard. Or what now? There's always drift, dude. There's always drift. What about what about Helm's Deep's moons? Hmm. That's an interesting idea. It's sucking me in. It's sucking me in. Oh shit! Oh my god, perfect! Yo, that's gotta be the place. Please go up. Thank you. I suck. Did you see that land in? Jesus, man. Neil Armstrong, take notes. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad they give tips, by the way, because let's be real. You guys watching this? You probably need the tips. What does this do? I'm getting a feeling about it. It's pushing me down. My G's are my G's are double double G's, dude. It's it's doubling my G's. Yep, yep. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. My jetpack sucks. Can I get an upgrade somewhere? God damn. They gave me the dinky little one. For the kids. I know it's my first flight. It's probably the initiation or something. That's probably what it is. Ship log updated. Statue workshop. Yo. Yo. I'd very much like to get in there. Wow. Wow. Where my banjo? I don't think there's a banjo here. Probably off with Kazooie somewhere. Ah! This guy games. Ah! Shit. Okay. What up? Good evening, Traxa. It's nice to see you. And with jokes. This used to be a throne. This used to be a throne. A really high back chair as well. Oh, yo! Here we go! I can put this in the museum. It's more of these things from the museum. Oh, it's an entire village. Yeah. That's to stop the tornadoes. You stand on here and the tornadoes stop. But let's just read about it first. Because they're going to tell me you stand on there and the tornadoes stop. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Phlox says it could be dangerous so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy. 
but it's a huge risk. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see the test later. The other way, air quotes. Mm. What are they talking about? I'm not going to step on that just yet. How mysterious. Where could this other way be? Ah! Jesus! Oh my god! I got just a big fright. It just came at me. Oh no. Oh no. Quickly. Oh my god. It was just there. It was just... Stop. Stop. Hey. There are pine cones in that tree. No, stop. What are you stabilizing with? That's not how you stabilize. Stop. Stop. Push down. Crack. Snap. Pop. Crackle. I'm pretty sure this is cereal with that name. I wasn't quick enough. I wasn't quick enough. I hate you. Let's go. Straight back to Helm's Deep, dude. Zoop. Zoop. Pop. Pop. Oh, shit. Pull up! Wow, dude. Wow. That little maneuver right there just shaved. Heck, 20 minutes off this run. How much have I figured out so far? Pretty much everything. I mean, I know all there is to know. Like, let's just, uh, let's just put that out there for anyone that's wondering. <clears throat> I know all there is to know. But, but I think I'm just going through the motions to make sure that everyone else understands what's going on. Why is that arrow pointing so far down? There's got to be something wrong. Autopilot. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. In case it wasn't obvious, I know nothing. I literally know nothing. There's, there's no sense. There's no reason. There's no rhyme. None of it. I don't, I don't know any of it. But there were aliens. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Let's go. We're coming in hot. We're also coming in right on top of the fat tornado. Level it out. Bop. This used to be something. Heckin' Hexo. I wanna land in here. Thing is, if I land right here and I get out here, there's a good chance I might not be able to get back in. So, let's stabilize. This is how it's done. And stabilize. Out we go. Good landing, good landing. <clears throat> perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wait, what? Gear options. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Jetpack boost mode auto. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm fine with how it is now. I think that's wrong. But it's fine. Oh shit. Perfect. All you know is your species that writes in English. There are other species that write in golden ratio curves. Your species is named after minerals. The other species are named after agricultural products. Star blows up periodically for some reason, send you back 
<coughs> into your own body in the past. Yeah, um, that's actually very... That's, that's a good summary, wow. I should hire you to just provide summaries of all the games that I play. Oh my god. That's a blender. That thing blends, dude. This is it. We've finished building the orbital probe cannon. The final probe module... Uh, wait. The final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into the orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for you and your tireless work is endless. I'd given up hope, but we truly, I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where the other attempts have not. <clears throat> if I don't know my brother, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch... Okay, Jesus, I'm stuck in at this reading right now. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried that the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mello a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. This is Cassava and Daz. If I'm even half as... If I'm ever half as gooey as Mello from, uh, and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Okay. Uh, so they're trying to send me up to the cannon in, in orbit. What is that? Gemma! Dude! Yo! Thank you so much, man. Hey! Thanks for the resubscribe dead again. Come on, man. I have like five seconds on this damn planet. Oh, I figured it out. Gemma, thank you. Gemma, thank you. You might actually be the same species, but your current society has lost knowledge of the previous society. You only think they're ancient aliens. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they built these to withstand the shock and force. Fantastic. I only realized that because... No, but we do look a little different. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, are we safe again? Okay. Let's just stay near one of those things in case. Thank you once again, Gemma. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to put my ship? I get it. I get it. I didn't put my ship here, man. I'm guessing I want to go over there. Right. They seem about the same size as me. Yeah, yeah. They do, they do. These are good theories. We definitely need you here for the next stream. You need to pick your brain about them. The water world's horrifying. I'm, I'm specifically not looking down because I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> Who wants to see that shit, dude? Not me, not me. Nuh uh. Six minutes, 26 seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. I guess I need to go to the orbital probe cannon. Like, I feel like that's where it's trying to send me right now. Let's do it. We're out of here.
I'll check the roomable in my ship. Please don't come right now. I'm not ready. Now is not a good time to check it though. I think we need to vacate these premises. What I'm trying to say is we need to peace before that hurricane tornado comes back. Oh shit. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's trying to suck me in. Nah. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Nice try. You old shit. Okay. What happens if you go into the storm with your ship? I'm pretty certain you die. No. Shit. No. No. Boost. Boost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Check it out. I will not. I mean, I might, but not right now. I'm on my way to the probe cannon. I'm down for this dude. This is real pioneering here. Do I chase it? Dude, we're chasing the edge of the horizon. Look at us. Look at us. We're going the wrong way, aren't we? I, I, okay. Can I turn autopilot on? <laughs> I'm never gonna get there. I just wanna, I just wanna be, be honest about this right now. I don't think I'll ever get there. Okay, we're heading towards it. Here we go. We gotta intercept it. But now we gotta go forward. Here it comes. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Boosters, full thrust. Boom. This has got to be the, the rough, roughest maneuver I've ever done. Keep getting sucked back in. How did I just do this? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Probably the hardest thing I'll ever do in this game.
This is creepy. Wow. I dig it. Control module. I don't have much time though. My internal timer tells me I got about seven minutes. Probe tracking module. I've got a very good internal timer. Launch module. Oh no. Okay. Oh, jeez. <gasps> Yo, what it is? Which is more terrifying depiction of space, this or the Hexagon game? This, for sure. I mean, like, the Hexagon game was its own thing, but, like, pick up Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that what it used to look like? Again. In here this time. No. What happened? Why is it not showing me this? I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow. Oh my god. You were right. Cassava and Yarrow. Zidana. Spot on, dude. We got Yarrow as well. There was a problem with the proposed power source so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire i hope you pull in my locomotive limb here cassava i wish i were my friend but no they aren't certain they can fix the problem the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus tell privet and mallow they should return from the cannon my spouse and i will remain at the construction yard for now an update mallow and i will join you and daz and Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Give me the stone. Yee. Where does this go now? <gasps> what just happened? Mallow, <clears throat> my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components soon, relatively speaking. We'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. Am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit to nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand, creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, and as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. I can drop them on the ground. Ah, sick. Well, that ain't good. Oh, there's one up here.
Oh no. Puzels. That's a puzzle. That's a puzzle. Excuse me, what? Send me back to the roof. I bet to you right now that some people probably didn't even find this puzzle. Poor things. My internal timer is never wrong, by the way. I know how much time is left, and it's not long. Okay. Can it align with randomly selected probe trajectory? Gravity field activated. 16 minutes, 50 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Ash Twin Project. That was it launching the probe and then it broke. <clears throat> Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon launch received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking modules receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. I saw that. I saw that. Quickly, I don't have much time. I don't have much time. So did the cannon launch only 16 minutes ago? Well, I mean, I guess lo vi if you're looking at the logs, then yes, I guess. Damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Intact. No structural damage. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Tracking module missing. There's more text down there. Uh, by the way, my, my estimates were thrown off a little bit because I didn't realize it paused every time I looked at this. But they're still pretty on they're still pretty on point. I'd like to go into the other room now. So Jesus God. Whoa. Yo, open. Yeah, there's something with time going on here, and I don't get it yet, so... I'm not, I'm not trying to get it yet. I feel like if I had to try to throw my brain at it right now, I'd probably break something. And, and that's not worth it. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, this one seems incomplete. I don't think there's anything there. Stabilize. We have this one here. I just went in there. That one there seems like it might have something. Yeah. That's me. I want to launch this quickly and look at myself. Never mind, it went straight through. Oh no, I missed. Right, so it's this or the Elden Ring trailer? Is there an Elden Ring trailer? We can watch it together. Just came out? Cool. Yo! <clears throat> Silver, listen to what Zidana's asking and answer it. There's something over there. I want to get there. Oh, no, that's where we were. What the hell? Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. I've been there. I guess we're out of here. I need to check my ship. We have about three, two minutes left. If I had to guess. Two minutes. Before we go supernova. Uh, it was thrown off. By the by the constant reading. And pausing. Uh, 
But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll um, go and check the trailer out in a moment. Because I'm obviously keen for that as well. This is going to pause it again. Oh, am I supposed to get pictures of all of this stuff? Yeah, there's more to explore here. I guess we're going back to the construction yard. We're not going to get very far, I'm telling you now. That's an angry red star. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Jesus, my ship's on its own thing, eh? Epic will give this away soon, yes. They just gave away control today, so... Believe you me. It will happen. That was one of the most sort of fulfilling journeys thus far. It was a good one. And 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 do you want to, does anyone want to talk about my timing? It was fantastic, perfect, absolutely spot on. Yo, hello. I knew it was coming. Uh, insane, insane. <laughs> 